So this video is a test of the robot's carrying capacity and what we're going to do is I have the robot and then I have a whole bunch of box of parts from McMaster car and we'll just be loading up the robot with different weights until it can't stand anymore. Without any weight on the robot it can obviously stand just fine and then it can walk around. So we'll turn back off the robot and we'll start with this first box of parts here. I have a scale on the side. This one weighs just shy of 13 ounces. There's probably a better way to do this test, but I think this will work fine. And then we'll see if it can start up again. So it does seem to be maybe struggling a little bit, but it's able to carry that weight. And still able to walk. Okay, turn it off, and let's add more weight. So we have some more boxes of parts. This other box is 10.3 ounces. And yeah, robot able to lift that. So that works fine as well. The robot, by the way, is using high-tech HS645MG servos, 18 of them total. Alright, this box is 8.32 ounces, we'll try to get it to not fall off the robot. And yeah, you can, the, the servos do, are not responding as fast with that much weight. So the robot's able to walk, still fine. Okay. The next box here. This one is 11.4 ounces, roughly. Yeah, able to lift that as well. It's like the, um, interestingly, although it's able to walk and lift the weight just fine, it does seem like it doesn't have as much traction, which seems like it should have more traction. Okay. And then, let's see, I don't want to go up by too high increment. This box is 10.7 ounces. This is getting a little precarious at this point. Able to lift that as well. That might fall at some. Uh oh, I was able to lift that weight though. All right. I honestly wasn't sure that it would be able to hold this much. Let's see if we can reconfigure the weight while still trying to keep it balanced on the robot. Okay, and then we'll add another, this is 12 and a half, 12 and a half ounces. Yeah, able to lift it. Although, uh, see, it won't go higher than this. I'm trying to command it to go higher. And still can sort of walk, but that's probably, I'm going to say, is about its weight limit. You can also see that... It's not very level anymore, so definitely it is struggling. I'm gonna say that's about as much as I'm gonna want to put on the robot. I don't want to break the servos. Okay, so that switch the robot off. So we put all of these ones on the robot. The robot itself, by the way. The robot weighs not cheating by putting legs on the ground. 76.37 ounces. And we just loaded it up. With another 
66 and a quarter ounces it was able to carry before it started struggling enough that I would say it wasn't working properly anymore.